Hey everybody and welcome to BrickLover18. If you've been following my channel here for a couple of months, you know what BrickFed is. If you haven't, well, I'm going to tell you. BrickFed is like Canada's only Lego convention. In the States, they have hundreds of conventions, but here in Canada, BrickFed is the only one. They do about three shows a year, one in Montreal, one in Toronto, and then an on-the-run show where the venue changes every year. I myself now have been to three BrickFed events, which is really cool. I've loved every single minute of them because they're amazing events. Every year at BrickFed, they have like an event kit. It's not like the event kits that you get at conventions like BrickFair, where they come in your goodie bag. These ones you actually have to purchase separately, but you'll find out why in a minute. I have all the different event kits from BrickFed, except this year. The reason being is they were fortunately missing some pieces for their event kit this year, so they couldn't sell them. But I managed to pick up all the other event kits that I was missing out on, and let's hope next year if I go, I get to pick up this year's event kit next year, along with next year's. My favorite part about BrickFet event kits is they're the fun builds, as well as they all represent Canada in some way. The first year event kit, which was in 2010, I believe, was this Lego Moose. So this Moose actually has 47 pieces and it's ages 5 to 99 and it's BrickFed event number 201101. Here is the little box that it comes in. It's this plastic container with a picture of the Moose on it. This is a very cool Moose. I built this one first, I believe. It's a very easy build and it just looks really cool and I like it because Moose are a big part of Canada because everybody in the States think that, oh, I'm going to go to Canada and see a moose. Well, guess what? I've lived in Canada for 15 years and I've never seen a moose. A moose alive. 2011's event kit was the CN Tower. This is a really tall build and it's hard to show all on frame while still staying in my studio backdrop. This one, as far as I'm concerned, is a very, very neat design, use of snot method, and it's just overall really cool, and I had a lot of fun building this model, and it's also fun when you know the landmark and you've been to the landmark before. So this is the CN Tower, set number 201201, CN Tower, it has 71 pieces and it was inspired by Jason Alleman. Does that name sound familiar? He is now his new Lego set. I'm not kidding, his new Lego set is coming out soon and is the Lego Marble Labyrinth. Really nice guy, really amazing builder. Next up is 2013's event kit, and that was the Peace Tower from the Parliament Buildings in Ottawa. And yes, this is 2013, I made a mistake on all the other piece, uh, all the other event kits. The CN Tower is 2012 and the Moose was 2011. As you can see, it's the Peace Tower, ages 6 to 99, set number 201301, and it has 182 pieces, so quite a lot compared to some of the other event kits. Very neat event kit. This was an actual, I really, I like the other ones, I enjoy building this one just because it, this was something I had never built anything like before, with so many pieces, so many different building techniques, and it looks really good, and it looks just like the, the Peace Tower in Ottawa. And this event kit does inspire me to make the rest of the Parliament buildings. And finally, the last event kit from the year of 2014 that I have is the Nathan's Phillips Square, the Town Hall in Toronto. Even though it is actually the last event kit that BrickFet to make for 2014, it was the very first event kit that I was that I bought. The reason being was because in BrickFet Ottawa, they actually didn't have any of the other event kits. They only had this one. They didn't have, unfortunately, enough of the pieces for the Toronto convention because they got there the week of the convention and they didn't have time to sort them. But this year they had them ready for Ottawa, so I purchased it there. They had them for sale at this Toronto convention as well. This is the most expensive can, uh, kit of them all, and it also has the most amount of pieces. But because in Ottawa they didn't have the boxes printed up for the parts, I don't know how many pieces it has, and I can only assume that the set number is 201401, but that's just my guess. Thanks everybody for watching this video where I show all the different BrickFet event kits from the years 2011 to 2014. Next year at the convention I hope to pick up the 2015 as well as the 2016 event kit. These are really amazing event kits and they make a great addition to my LEGO room because I have them on a nice display shelf. If you're in the Toronto, Ontario area, any July, check out this video here. This is a promo I made for last year's BrickFet convention. 
Some of the details will probably remain the same and it'll just give you a little idea of everything that BrickFed has to offer. Thanks everybody for watching this video, have a great day.